Hello, Forecaster here again, and we are back as the pilot for episode 81, and I have just flawlessed the uh, Beholster again, and we are going to proceed as normal, trying to get to the past again to see if we can defeat the Absolution, and we have some things left to do on this floor. As you can see, I have double vision, which is nice. Uh, I thought there was a chest left, but apparently not. So I guess we are leaving with three keys for the next floor, which is not bad. And we'll see if we can find some more stuff to do with down here. Uh, probably want to use this as our primary. It's a good weapon for general room clearing. Also benefits from fanning, as we just saw there. Piercing, which is nice, should the uh, Reaper appear. Pretty good. My hope is that we will find something great. The makeshift cannon was pretty good. And by pretty good, I mean absolutely amazing. Oh, dang it. I hate these things. Oh, that was close. Alright. Let's go up. For no reason in particular. That was a little too close. Well, would like to keep my armor for the boss if possible. Although I'm not going to count on that being the case. Uh, unfinished gun and wind-up gun are not some not things I want. So, wait. Oh, you're one of the... Ah, dang it. You have to go step in the poison. So that was... That's an interesting pattern. Um, so that was one of the... Bullet kin you need to not kill. To unlock the... The last secret character. Ooh, cigarettes don't really want that. Uh, probably refill this. So unfortunately, we're not going to get to do that this time. I wouldn't have shot him, of course, but he stepped into poison instead. Which was unfortunate. So a chest here. Let's open that. Drum clip. More ammo, I think. Basically, or does it increases magazine capacity? Okay, yeah. It's just more ammo, not quicker reload. That is, that's something else. The oiled cylinders or something. I forget. That's there's some item at least that 
increases reload speed. I have rocket boots and bionic legs as well. Ooh. Gunzang. Uh, the high damage but very inaccurate weapon. I'm going to save that. That's going to be effective against the dragon, probably, because we have a very high surface area to target do damage to. So I'm probably going to save that as well, completely. All that ammo for the dragon. Full health. It's always good. Chest. Probably want to gather these up a bit, utilize the piercing to kill them, save some ammo on that. Uh, was, oh no, I got both chests already. Okay, well, I guess we were fighting the boss then, and we are going to use this probably. It is the Cannon Balrog. Dang it. Okay, no flawless. That is okay, we have quite a bit of health anyway. Below half, uh, at least. Ow. Which is not bad for a um, single stage. Burn to death. It's pretty good. Uh, get the honeycomb, which is not great. Not that great. Uh, okay, we're going to buy the key because it's cheap, and then we are going to leave with five planks. All right, let's head down to four, floor four four floor and see if we can survive here we should be able to do that switch back to this ow damn ice okay let's go up huh a single key for two armor and a an unlocked chest. I'll take that. And we get the key back, so basically two free armor. That is great. It seems that the after having pierced an enemy once, subsequent hits do less damage. Which is understandable, that's how most piercing weapons tend to work.
right. Let's go down here. Okay, we're out of ammo for that, so let's switch to something fiery. Nice. Okay, we'll leave that for the future when I need it. Which will inevitably come. Ow. Dang it. Okay. Not who I meant to hit, but oh well. Alright, we're going up, and that's where the boss is. We hold off on that, of course, as usual. Now I have six blanks, which is... Come here. immune to fire, so we want to... Got some extra health, some more extra health. We have a Gunsling King challenge again. Okay, we can dodge roll this time, which is nice. Should be able to do this. Ow. Well... That was... Oh, that was not the room. This is the room. Okay then. Which means I probably could have used a different weapon during that other room and have avoided getting hit. Got that thing again, at least. Water drop. Nice. We got it, I'm pretty sure. Let's talk to this guy. There we go. Lisa or Lotus. That is a pretty high tier weapon, I believe. That's nice. Blue chests. Let's open that, I suppose. And it's the anvil, in, which is not great. Probably wouldn't have minded using the the lock picks on that chest. The gunzang with the with double vision will probably be quite effective, I expect. That's going to be nice.
least I hope so. Okay, got a bit of health back, and we ran off, uh, ran out of ammo for that. So let's use this. Stop that. Oh, this is actually an electric weapon. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I've been discovering a lot of that recently. I assume once the robot has a past, um, defeating that is going to unlock the coolant leak for every character somehow, probably. Because these electrical weapons aren't super useful unless there is already water. In the room. Ah, uh, Shield of the Maiden. Not super useful. I guess. I guess by this point, I can ditch the lock picks. A bit reluctantly, though. But still, don't think I'll have a whole lot of additional use for those. the shop. We have quite a bit of money. Ooh. Space friend. I'll buy that. Uh, Cursula. Don't really want monster blood or shotgun full of love. So, no curse for us. Uh, I have full health, so I don't need the health lying around. So let's face the boss. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely use double vision. Save that. Don't have a whole lot of ammo left in the laser lotus. We'll use this, I suppose. At least to start with. Oh, it's the kill pillars. Dang it. No flawless. Uh, want to switch to something else, probably that. The space friend blocks shots, which is nice. So if I keep him in front of me in here, I don't really need to dodge. Which I kind of wish I had known earlier. go. I was hoping the space friend would kill it there, but didn't wanna. Ok, 
Okay, so we do have enough health strewn about to get us back to full. So I'm going to go and fetch that. It's nice being fast, running fast. Alright. And then we are going to check the shop quickly, so I don't have anything there that I could potentially want. Don't really want the bow, none of those things. And I don't need the health. So let's port back to here. And pop down to the forge. I have so many blanks. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That is a shame that that was just a heart. But alright, so I have a pretty good chance of making this, I think. close. Okay, we have ammo elemental, which probably don't need to use. Ow. Okay, that was it. Alright. with the frame rate drop there. Ah, that's awful. Ooh, that was close. Dang it. I was hoping he would die quickly enough. Alright, we get another blank, which we don't really need all that much. A bunch of you. Chests, green one. I only have one key, so I'm going to hold off, of course. Doing otherwise would be silly, and I don't have the lockpick, of course, anymore. Going pretty well, though. I am doing well enough to beat the the dragon. Definitely. This room looked like it could have had one of those hammers in it. Glad that, that it didn't, though.
Couldn't catch that animal. How sad. Alright. Alpha Bullet isn't going to do much. Scatter Shot is not going to be very useful. Key I'm going to buy. Bullet I'm going to get. It seems you only need to assemble the bullet once. Which I suppose is, is nice because it was kind of a pain. We got a key anyway. Okay, there's the boss. No enemies in here. Five anvils left. Seems like the anvils can hit an enemy multiple times if it knocks them back and then flies into them again. Which is interesting. Ow. Yeesh. Not doing too well on ammo for things. Okay, what do we want to refill? Probably this is a pretty good weapon. I'll keep using the laser lotus. Another key. Are you kidding. This is not great. This is not great. Could use some help. The chest is right here though at least. And it's a red one. Oh, and it's a mimic. Because of course it is. At least it's slow. And it's stuck tape. If I combine this with a weapon that I have ammo for, do we get more ammo for that? Or do we get to keep the same amount of ammo? Um, can I... If I, if I use... No, I want this first, and then this. Maybe. Oh, hello. Well, that's unfortunate. Could have had some extra health if I could have afforded that. Um, I suppose these will have to do. So, one and a half heart for the dragon fight. And we'll just go open this chest first. the gray mouser, which makes us invisible when we reload with it. Uh, I don't really have any desire to go down there and see what's there. It's probably not going to be useful and I just risk getting hit and losing health. So we're going to ready the gunzeng and the double vision and let the dragon have it. Don't do that. It's not super effective. Even with double vision. Ow. It's 
doing good work though. I have so friggin' many blinks. Alright, so with two and a half or one and a half heart, I should be able to get through this stage. we go. So we will be getting another shot at the pilot's past. Hopefully we'll make it this time now that I have become a little more familiar with the... Oh, these are all shots from the gun Zeng, of course. I've hit the back wall there. Oh, we do get to keep the, the space friend in here. Interesting. Does this follow us into the past? Maybe it does. That would be interesting. We'll see. No reason to delay. Let's get... Past. I wonder if I can shoot... Shoot it with the... No, I won't do that. I don't know what happens if you shoot to the side. Okay, so no... No... Uh, ship there. Okay, we can basically skip through this dialogue because we've already gone through it once. Let's get to the shooty bit. Doesn't look like we get the space friend here, which is unfortunate. Power. Yes. Ow. It's really difficult to dodge that. remember to go on this side now. Oh. Guess it didn't matter. The beams came later than I expected. Kind of broke the pattern there. Ah, dang it. It's just wide enough so that you can dodge it at all. Which is annoying. You have to actually go into it a little bit. We did it! Alright. So that's good. Disarming personality unlocked. Wingman achievement unlocked. I can't believe you did that. Where did you learn those moves? Trusty lockpicks unlocked for all characters. Wingman unlocked. Another time. Let's get out of here. Don't have to tell me twice. Alrighty. So that is another past taken care of. We now have uh, one left. Right? Disarming personality, trusty lockpicks, and wingman. That is our companion, I suppose, who were in the salvage ship. Alright, let's go back to the breach and have a quick overview before we um, end the episode. So we now have three pasts 
killed. So it's the marine left. I also believe that we completed the hunting quests so we can get some hegemony credits. Hollow points again. All right. So with that, I'm going to end this episode and I will see you in the next one.